بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم Okay, in the previous uh, video we talked about the decision tree and we said that decision tree is a, a very important classifier that we could use for classifying uh, nominal data. Okay. Uh, we said that in the decision tree, the learning model is a tree. It, the learning model is a tree. The learning model, as we said before, is the <coughs> format of the relation between the inputs and outputs. So here w uh, we have a tree that wants to uh, represent the relation between the inputs and outputs. Okay. The most important thing about the decision tree uh, is uh, the building of the tree. Okay. Building the tree is the most important thing uh, that we uh, are doing for the decision tree. Okay. Uh, when we want to build the tree, the most important thing is selecting the best features to put uh, into the tree. Okay? So when we want to build the tree, the most important thing is selecting the best features the in the tree. The okay, how do we do this? How do we do this? How do we select the best features in the tree? Okay? As you saw in the previous slides, uh, in this tree, okay, here we have some features, okay. Uh, okay, now how do we select the best trees? How do we select the best uh, features to put in the tree? Okay. Uh, in the ID3 decision tree, okay, we are talking about the ID3. ID3 is uh, is one of the uh, decision trees that we have. In ID3, the features, the best features, are selected using a metric called information gain. Okay, so information gain is the metric used for selecting the best features. Okay. Now, uh, we want to know what is the information gain. What does information gain mean? Information gain is a metric which is based on, on another uh, concept uh, named entropy. Okay, now what is entropy? If we have a data, S, S is our data, the entropy of this data could be calculated using this formula. Okay? In this formula, we are uh, doing a summation. I is equal 1 to C. What is C? C is the number of classes. For example, if we are working for fruit classification and we have five fruits, then C is equal to five. So for each class, we are computing this. Okay, we are calculating this term. What is PI? PI means the probability of 
data being in that class ti i is the index of the class a logarithm pi again negative pi multiplied by logarithm in the base 2 of pi for example if we have if our data had two classes the entropy of s is equal to this and the two classes are positive and negative okay uh, minus the probability of positive data we get logarithm of this and probability of negative data a logarithm okay this is entropy so if we have a data that this data it has multiple classes we could calculate the entropy using this formula example example if we have this data okay this data here you see that we uh, this data has eight rows one two to eight rows and uh, in this data it's about tennis the sport tennis and uh, this this column this column it is the um, class it is the output or the class okay so in this data we have two classes no and yes okay we have two classes no yes and uh, so now we want to calculate entropy we want to calculate entropy entropy d1 to d8 d1 to d8 okay we want to calculate the entropy uh, we say that okay positive it means yes positive is yes and negative is no okay this negative is no and positive is yes uh, minus the probability of positive okay positive uh, here the probability is the number of positive to the whole okay we have six positives and the whole of them eight so it's six divided by eight this is the probability of positive and then look at it this probability and then um, uh, minus the probability of negative a look at it the probability of negative okay and this will come to this value 0.24 this is the entropy of this data 0.24 okay the best value for entropy is zero if the entropy is zero it means that all of the data have the same class okay if all of the data for example are yes the output of all of the data is yes what happens here you see that this would be uh, minus 8 divided by 8 okay logarithm 8 divided by 8 okay logarithm 8 divided by 8 it means logarithm 1 and uh, logarithm 1 is equal to 0 and here the probability of the negative class it is 0 so the entropy would be 0 okay this is the best situation of entropy when it is 0 and the bad in and the worst situation of entropy is 1 so entropy is a value between 0 and 1 the worst value is 1 uh, when does this occur it occurs when we have the same number of data in different classes 
for example here we have eight data four of them is no and four of them is yes if you calculate this you will see that the entropy would be one okay okay so this is entropy this is entropy a value that we have uh, here now uh, we said that in ID3 uh, information gain is used to uh, select the best features okay now what is information gain this is the formula of information gain sorry this is the formula of information gain if we have a data s and we have an attribute A, the information gain of attribute A in data S is equal to entropy S minus this value. So the information gain of an attribute could be calculated using this term. Okay, first we have to calculate the entropy, and then we should calculate the entropy for the attribute. Okay, let's look and at an example of this. How could we uh, calculate the information gain for a feature? For, okay again assume we have this data okay uh, we have this data and uh, in this data what do we want to do we want to calculate the gain of the feature wind okay this feature uh, we want to calculate the gain the information gain of the feature wind in this data s is this data that we have here okay s is this data okay so we want to calculate the information gain of the feature wind okay in this slide you can see that we are calculating the information gain you see that uh, for this feature the feature wind uh, we have this value this is the values of feature wind the feature wind the values are weak or strong as you see this feature is a nominal feature the values are string values and the number of values is limited only two values okay now in s s this is the data in the previous slide you see that this here we have 14 data d1 d14 14 data okay now in this 14 data nine of them is positive and five is negative if you look and a yes means positive and no means negative and 9 is positive and 5 is uh, negative okay then if we look in the data which the wind feature has the value weak in this data uh, we have 6 positive and 2 negative and in the data which the wind feature has the value strong we have 3 positive 3 negative And uh, this is the gain, the gain of the feature wind in the data S. 
equal to entropy s entropy s it could be calculated using this data okay and the formula that we have in the previous slides and then uh, in this this term entropy s the value of entropy s is 0.94 and this one s weak s weak means the data which the win feature is weak we say six positive and two negative okay so this is the entropy we put it here and the value of the entropy is 0.8 and for s is strong it means the data that the wind feature it has the value is strong the entropy is one okay okay now uh, what is this eight divided by 14 it means that <coughs> it means that from the all of the data that we have we have 14 data from this 14 data eight of them have the wind value has uh, the wind feature has the value weak and six of them the wind feature has the value is strong so uh, we have written this this 8 divided by 14 it is this term in the formula okay so the gain of the feature wind finally is this point zero 0.04 okay this is the gain for the feature wind in the data so we could calculate the gain for different features and then we could select the best feature the best feature is the feature which has the highest gain okay the best feature is the feature which has the highest gain okay so that's enough for now and I said that the decision tree is a classifier which could be used for classifying nominal data and we talked about and we said that in this classifier the learning model is a tree and we want to build a tree and in this tree the most important thing for building a tree is how to select the features because in the decision tree in the nodes of the decision tree we have some features so we have to select the best features okay uh, in the ID tree decision tree for selecting the best feature there is a metric named information gain that I talked about it and we see that how could we calculate the information gain okay thank you we will talk about this subject in the next session thank you very much